Hi, this is John Persinos, Editorial Director of Investing Daily, with a video update for Monday, November 2nd. Well, tomorrow's the big day, and the world is holding its collective breath. A disputed outcome in the U.S. presidential race that fuels street violence is a distinct possibility, in which case the markets probably would crater. Or we may get a decisive decision early in the evening of November 3. At the same time, the global coronavirus pandemic has taken a turn for the worse. However, as I explain in this video and in the article that accompanies this video, next year should be prosperous for investors. But first, we must clear a few hurdles. The markets have been volatile and showing downward momentum. Last week represented the 11th time in 2020 that the S&P 500 has closed more than 2% lower than where it started the week, versus an annual average of six times since 2010. Last week's decline was mostly generated by a spike in coronavirus infections and deaths in the U.S. and Europe, as well as the demise of a second fiscal stimulus bill in Congress. The S&P 500 fell nearly 6% last week, its worst weekly decline since March 20. The following table tells the story. The CBOE Volatility Index, VIX, has soared in recent days, underscoring investor uneasiness with the election, the coronavirus, and the recession. The outlook for stocks remains positive over the long term. Whether Donald Trump or Joe Biden wins on Tuesday, we can expect fiscal stimulus and accelerating growth in 2021. But until the pandemic and election are behind us, you can expect sharply negative reactions to unexpected headlines. In our deeply polarized political environment, the next few days promise to be nerve-wracking. Major elections tend to produce stock market swings. Through it all, you should remain politically agnostic. Keep your emotions in check and ride out the volatility that awaits us this week. Stick to your investment goals. The table is set for market-beating gains in 2021. That said, don't minimize the near-term risks. The worst danger right now, of course, is posed by the pandemic, which is resurgent in the U.S. and Europe. Global stocks tumbled last week, and they're poised for further declines as major countries in Europe, such as Germany and France, reimpose lockdowns amid spiking COVID-19 infections and deaths. Take a look at the following graphic. The global economy faces potentially disastrous consequences from these lockdowns. In particular, Germany is the economic locomotive of the European Union. The ripple effects of the German lockdown will reach these shores as well. In the U.S., we got some good news as the government reported that third quarter gross domestic product came in at an annualized growth rate of 33%. However, Despite the rebound, economic growth remains 3.5% beneath the pre-pandemic level. Amid these fraught conditions, where should investors look for profits? I suggest you consider my colleague Jim Fink. Jim is adept at putting volatility to profitable use. He knows better than anyone that for options traders, volatility generates greater opportunities for higher risk, higher reward trading. In his capacity as chief investment strategist of Jim Fink's inner circle, Jim has come up with a pre-election trade that's positioned to reap a windfall. Make this one trade before election night, and you're 95.96% likely to win. Want the details of Jim's pre-election trade? Consult the article that accompanies this video for a link to my interview of Jim Fink. Well, that does it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please send an email to mailbag at investingdaily.com. In the meantime, stay safe, stay invested, and be sure to vote.